Okay, I'm kind of dumb. I was just modeling for about a minute without recording. But just so you know what I did, I am. Um, well, I'll do it again. Um, actually, I won't do it again. I'm tired of doing it again. I made a box uh, just in here. It was back here. I brought it up and I rotated it. Then I created a cylinder using auto grid right here pushed it in, and that's what I've got so far. And now that I'm actually recording, select this part right here, hinge from edge, pick hinge, okay. Um, give it three segments, extrude, all right. And then also press E, and by the way, if um, you're just lose your little gizmo there and just press X. You you hit it somehow. Just give this a slight rotation there. Select these edges and connect. That'll just give it the ability to turn a little better. And next, you can see we have um, oops, oh, snaps. Um, some little vent or little um, horizontal things which this actually controls, but. We'll build those at the box. Start here, all the way across. Okay. And let's just decrease the height here. There's no point in having it that big. Okay. Tilt it a little bit. And let's make one. Two, three, four more copies of it. Okay, and this way, when you go into perspective, you turn off the little view there, it looks like a vent. You can see the vents there, you can see them there, you got a little cool little thing there. Next, select everything we've done here, and whoa, that's pretty disgusting looking. Let's actually see what's up with that. Oh, we didn't fix the back, but actually it doesn't really matter because no one's going to see it. So select all that, and deselect this main thing here, link, link, okay, select it all, group, let's call this um, rectangle bit. Okay, um, and let me go find out the dimensions of this. Alright, this is actually one foot wide, so let's again use the box method here. Create a box, okay, with 12, okay, next go to the front view here, make sure that this is set to um, uniform, and just scale it down. Okay, move it up, zoom in. and continue scaling until you get it. Okay, looks like that's... whoa... yeah, I thought I did that. I just kind of scale that back to a reasonable height. And there we go. We have our rectangle vent along with our double switch. And we didn't label that, but you know what, it's okay. So, move this, rotate it 90 degrees here. Go in the top view, and just generally position it over here. And it's actually 7 inches from the wall. So, let's make this 7. And it is... 32 inches on the other side of the wall. Let's just do it right up here. So 32. Line it up. Okay. Um, like so. Just like this. And. Stick it right in there. 
you know, you can fix that back if you want, but, yeah, I don't see any real reason to. So next, go to perspective, and, um, I should go to the front, F3, and just kind of bring it right up to the top there, because that is where it's supposed to be positioned. I just want to make sure that everything's going good here, so I'm going to do a quick little render. And it looks good. Because you just have to make sure you don't see any random artifacts or whatever that comes from these things. Okay. Uh, that's ugly. But, um, next, let's begin work on the other event, the square event, which is picture, which is this picture, right here. This one should hopefully be easier, but with my luck, it's not going to be. So, make a square, okay. Um, and actually, let's make this square, so we're going to do one, 85 by 185, so that way it will be exactly square. Actually, oops. Wow, I should really learned that hotkey. I just isolated the selection somehow. But, um, yeah. Bring it out a bit. And that actually looks pretty good. So, maximize this thing. Convert to editable poly, select this, and begin insetting. Just inset whatever you see align. Doesn't have to be perfect. Alright, there we go. Now, um, let's see, chances are this isn't going to work, but you know what, I can try. Select all those, hit ring, control select polygons, and oh my god, it worked. Okay, well, I'm celebrating my moment of victory. Maximize this viewport here, extrude, and extrude backwards. Um, a little ways, apply, extrude a little bit further, apply, and bring it into it. Okay. Now what you want to do is, let's see, I don't want to do that. Okay. Select this, so select all the interior lines pretty much. And then start whispering to the unknown deities in the sky that um, this works, and you select all the lines. Okay. Be careful here, gotta watch my time in the videos because YouTube is stupid. Ring, control, click, and just make sure you have everything there, have everything there. Extrude local normals and extrude them inward. Okay, and now you have the cool looking vent. Oh, yeah, I don't see any other things. You can put that, that, that mark there is irrelevant. And let me go figure out how big this is. Alright, this thing is nine and a half inches. So uh, let's get a little box here. Go 9.5 by 9.5. Okay. Select our editable poly. Press J to get rid of those stupid line things. I have a name, I don't know what it is. Okay, bring it here. And scale it to the appropriate size, which that is. In the next lesson, we'll place this and continue on.